Hello everyone, this is Carl over at Legendary Leatherwork. How are y'all doing today? <clears throat> today I'm going to continue the brown beaver tail wallet and I'm going to sew the ID holder. So let's go ahead and lay it down and we'll get started. Okay, here we have the uh, the brown uh, um, window holder, and I'm going to go around it, of course, and then I'm going to go around the top here to, to close everything up. So, we'll get started on that right quick. Hopefully this will be a nice, smooth little sew, which I'm sure it will be. Normally it comes out really good. This calf lining that I have is really good stuff. It works nice. Like I say, it's very thin, it's very durable, and it looks very nice. Can't really ask for much more when you're doing something like this, when you're building a wallet of this caliber, I guess. <laughs> These wallets come out really nice, and a lot of people have enjoyed the beaver tail wallets that I have created. I still do have the black beaver tail wallet, the bifold, like this one. Of course, the other one has eight pockets and this one has four. And then I have the black checkbook beaver tail wallet that I had done a couple of months ago, which also came out really nice. Now let me move that. Simply because the beaver tail is just a real popular skin. Especially for a lot of you guys up north that do a lot of trapping and whatnot. Y'all know the quality of the beaver, beaver tail and of course the beaver hides as well. And this just kind of adds to your... Add to your luxury, I guess, that to be able to have a beaver tail and kind of gives you the feeling of I've caught all these others, now I've got this one, so really can't beat it. All right, turn this sideways. Tell you what guys, I really, really, really enjoy this Seiko machine. I was able to purchase it a couple of years ago from City Sewing out in Dallas, Texas. Came right off the, uh, right out of the cardboard box from them, <laughs> I guess you could say. Really nice company. Told them what I needed and they fixed me up right quick. Alright, this one's almost finished up. Let me trim these off right quick and then we'll finish the sew. Takes a little longer, but I like to get all the threads out of the way before I finish finish the sewing. That way it doesn't get in the way and doesn't confuse me. All right. So far it seems like it's done very well around the corners and I buy the, uh, usually get the, the uh, plastic from Joann's or just one of the cloth stores in the country that really sell this stuff. Okay, that's good. Doesn't have to be real thick or thin, it just has to be right. 
I know that's kind of bizarre to say, but it is the truth. There we go. All right. I will cut this off as well, and and I'll sew that top line, and then we'll be done with the window, which is a blessing. And my wife is singing to the cat. <laughs> That's her little girl. Let's see right quick. Here we go. There's that. Get these out of here. Then we'll sew this little one around the top. Get that sewed in and it will be a finished finished window to put in the, the wallet. Yes, sir. Craig, this is going to come out really nice, brother. He was so nice. He had, he called me a couple of days after he, uh, well, actually, it was the same day. He subscribed to me, and he said, Carl, I watched all of your videos. I'm like, well, that's cool. <laughs> There's a lot of videos out there, so I bless you, brother. <laughs> And he said, when you were, he was watching the rebuild beaver tail wallet. And he had said, it just seems like you were talking to me when you were making that wallet rebuild. So I just needed to call you and let you know it was a, it was a good deal. So I appreciate that so much. Appreciate it mostly because he was gave me a call and tell he appreciated the tell me that he appreciated the video and it was nice enough that he actually connected with subscription so he subscribed to me as well so that was a blessing all right let's get rid of these little threads here and see how we did. This thread is a 69 thread. Anybody that does any sewing will know exactly the sizes of this thread. It's a bonded nylon right twist. Like I say, people that sew know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to that. And of course, the Seiko is not a household machine. It is industrial. All right, guys, let's see how we did. Okay, it feels like I went around the corners really good and went around the sides. Left me a little room right here for some sew or lace. Craig said that he wanted this laced up, so. All right, guys, there we go. Let me lay it up right quick. All righty. <laughs> Once again, had the pocket all finished up. Came out really good. That's gonna be a nice, nice uh, uh, add to the wallet. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching the video. And hopefully you'll watch the others that are out there on YouTube. And be sure to go to the website, www.legendaryleatherwork.com. If you'd like to get a hold of me, Carl, K-A-R-L, at legendaryleatherwork.com. And then if you'd like to give me a call, area code 817-903-5415. Please share and like. Ring the bell for notifications. Thank you guys. You have a good one.